was in need of it. For in an instant, the electric runabout, with motors fairly roaring, swept up the road after the gasoline car that was almost hidden from sight in a cloud of dust. Faster and faster went Tom's car. The young inventor was listening with critical ear to the song of the machinery. He wanted to... Indy, if my father knew you spent all your time reading his Come books... On, Nancy, this is great. Guess what? My mom's taking me to get my prom dress this afternoon. I'm so excited. Butch years, I'm taking your dad's car to the prom. He's gonna go green with envy. You wanna come over tonight? We could do our English homework together. Sure. See you about seven? Perfect. Bye. Bye. Come on, Stevie. Put your back muscle into it. Too bad some of you guys are gonna have to take shoe leather to the prom. Maybe some of us won't have to, Butch. Oh, dream on, soda jerk. I'm not dreaming. As a matter of fact, I'm taking a car to the prom that's better than that turkey Model T. Oh, yeah? Like what? Like a Bugatti. A Bugatti? Nancy's father's letting me drive his car. <laughs> you can't kid me, buddy. Her dad won't let you drive that car. Well, let's just wait and see. Sorry that took so long. That's all right, Indy. Hey, doll. Got a date for the prom yet? Just give it up, Butch. I told you I wouldn't go to the prom with you if you were the last man on <laughs> Earth. Hey, soda jerk. So when were you at practice today? Some of us have to work for a living, Butch. Oh, my heart bleeds. Do you want something to drink? In a glass that you touched? I'd rather drink sewer water. One sewer water, hold the foam. Forget it, Rosie. I'll never ask you again to the prom. Indy. Oh, hi. Um, listen, I have some bad news. What's up? I'm afraid to tell you. Come on, Nancy, what is it? I can't. You'll be devastated. I just know it. Nancy, I'll be fine. I just can't. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... Tell me. We can't take Dad's car to the prom. What? Well, it wouldn't start this morning. I mean, Dad made an appointment to get it fixed in New York next Thursday. No, 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 but the prom's this Saturday. I, know. I told everyone I was driving you to the prom in the Bugatti. When Butch finds this out, he's gonna laugh his socks off. I don't know what we can do, Indy. We'll have to double date with Clifford. Hello, Andy. Good afternoon, Mr. Stratemeyer. How's the new Tom Swift? Troublesome. I've got Tom stuck in an Incan tomb, surrounded by rocket rangers, and his stun gun doesn't work. The villain is flooding the tomb with water, and I don't know how to get Tom out. Well, have you read Hiram Bingham's account of the discovery of ruins in Machu Picchu? No. We discovered this incredible Inca city about five years ago. I've been reading about his discoveries in National Geographic. Bingham. B-I-N-G-H-A-M. That's it. Anyway, you know, the Incas were incredible stonemasons, and he thinks there might be a complex maze of underground tunnels under the Machu Picchu. But he doesn't want to open them up because he thinks the whole thing might cave in. Well, I bet if Tom can get inside these tunnels, he could give them a slip. Or corner them. Right. Well, it's very good, Indy. I'll certainly give that some thought. Indy, the car. Oh, Mr. Stratemeyer, about your car. Oh, yes, I'm sorry about that. Well, see, I was thinking, I know someone who just might be able to fix it at Williams Brothers Garage on the edge of town. If anyone around here can fix it, they can. Uh, I don't know. Sir, I can get it fixed. I promise. 
Well, please, Father, we'll be careful. Well, all right, then. You'll be very careful, understand? Thank you, Mr. Schwedemeyer. Thanks, Dad. You gonna drive that pile of junk to the prom? When we get this baby souped up, it's gonna blow the doors off that tin Lizzie. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, Indy. We'll just be like everyone else and walk to the prom. Yeah, everyone except Butch. Well, you're not taking Butch to the prom. You're taking me. I know, I know. It's just well, a... Forget about him. The only person you need to impress is me. And I'm impressed. I just gotta find a way to get that car running. No, we have dinner guests tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, <laughs> I suppose so. When you graduate from high school, you must come on a dig with me. Dr. Butler, do you mean that? Well, of course I do. <laughs> wow. Junior. Not so loud. So. What's it like working for big industry, John? Well, I, since leaving Princeton, I'm discovering that um, research for Edison and academic research are two entirely different worlds. But you uh, must be earning more. Yes. <laughs> but um, Edison, he gets all the credit. He has the ideas, and uh, we make them work. The, uh, the battery, for example. Uh, when I perfect the Edison battery, the age of the internal combustion engine will be over forever. But how can you make a battery that'll last long enough? Well, the details are Mr. Edison's secrets. <laughs> but I can tell you that uh, Henry Ford believes in them enough to uh, pay Edison for the research. An electric Model T, eh? A battery like that could put the old companies out of business, John. Dr. Thompson, did you read Tom Swift's electric runabout? Junior! Don't interrupt. No. Uh, no, I didn't, Indy. What well, came out about five years ago was just that Tom Swift invented a lithium and potassium hydrate battery and the car ran at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> well, that was uh, one of Mr. Stratemeyer's fantasies. The Edison battery is reality. It's very exciting. With the Edison battery, we will have noiseless cars without exhaust. John's a genius. <laughs> Oh, that's okay, Miss Brennan. I'll serve the coffee. Why, thank you, Andy. I'll head on home now. Okay, good night. Good night. Dr. Thompson? Yes, Andy. I told you about Nancy's dad's car and how we can't use it to go to the prom? Yes. Ooh. Would you know how to reconstruct a Bugatti generator? Even one of my assistants could do that. Really? Sure. Well, could I bring it out to West Orange tomorrow? Why not? Gosh, thanks, Dr. Thompson.
Jones and Nancy Stratemeyer to see Dr. Thompson? He's expecting us. Oh, yeah. Just going past the test track and turn right. Thompson, this is Nancy, Nancy Stratemeyer. Hello, Nancy. Hi. So, this is it, huh? Yes, sir. You know, these will be obsolete someday. When I perfect my battery, we won't need generators anymore. Power supply will be constant. Dr. Thompson, what's that race car out there on the track? Oh, that's an aerodynamics test. I'll take this into my assistant. Be right back. Mr. How fast does this thing go? Well, I've had her up to 98 on the track. Take it to oh, help! Help me! Ah. Ah. Close for Shrinda. Get out! What? Nancy? Help! Help! Dr. Thompson! Help! Come on! What happened? Dr. Thompson, they've kidnapped Thompson. They've stolen the plans. Get security, quick. I'll go. I know that. Oh, and it was a it was a supply van. It was it was dark and, and grubby. Well, I think that covers just about everything. You kids can go home now and we'll be in touch if we need you. Is that all? It yeah, for so now. Fast, but just before I was slugged, I heard one of them say something. I remember because it was in German, I think. German? It was Schnell de Junchen or Bauerchen. I can't remember. Bauerchen. Quick the baby's burping? No, 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 sir. I think that means quick the chicken is burping. Thank you, kid. What the bauchin means, the baby's burping. I know that for a fact. And unchin Please, means... huh? Now I'm finished with you two. You can both go home. Go on. But if... But what? Can we at least have our generator back? Oh, no, I'm sorry, kid. This is evidence. Once the case is solved, maybe. Here comes Edison. Well, is someone gonna answer me? Yes, Mr. Edison. They kidnapped Dr. Thompson. I know that. I mean, what research, what designs. They've stolen the naval research files. All of them? All of them. The project files on the submarine and torpedo detection units and the battery designs. Are you in charge here? Oh, yes, sir. Captain Brady, Special Investigations. Naval intelligence in on this. And the president must be told immediately. I'll do that myself. I tell you, unchin means chicken. Whatever that German was saying, it was pretty weird. Baby burps is Bauerchen. But Bauer also means farmer. Indy, you remember on the train as we were coming into West Orange, there was that large barn, remember? What was painted on it? Van Heck's poultry. Oh my gosh, that's it. Munchen Bauer, chicken farmer. Nancy, let's run. Nancy! Nancy, wait up! Going into that barn. They look fresh. Nothing. Look over there.
the van. I knew it. Hey, look at this. Gooey oil. Look. There's some kind of sticker on the window. See the wood. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? What was that? Shh. Somebody's here. You think they heard us? I don't know. Quick, help me cover up the van. Okay, but after this, we're gonna ride out to West Orange and tell the police. Nancy. Nancy. Identify the anti submarine plants. They said they'd kill me if I didn't do what they asked. Did they say anything to indicate where they were headed? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all? The German is terrible. I did keep hearing the words of uh, loot and ebby. That's high tide and low tide. High tide, low tide? Someone's gonna pick them up. A German submarine? They didn't say anything that might indicate where they were gonna be picked up. Nothing I could understand. United States will ever join the war? It's possible. German sealing those plans certainly won't help. I wonder where that van came from. I wonder what your mom's fixing for dinner. I'm starving. You're always starving. Oh, you finished Mr. Granlin's math assignment? No, I've been with you all day. Germans took it must be pretty important. It was important enough to tell the president. We know that. Mm. You said they took two sets of plans. Mm -hmm. The uh, detection system for submarines. And the electric car battery plans. Let's not forget they also kidnapped Dr. Thompson. No, no. They only took Thompson to use as a hostage in case they got cornered while escaping. But why would they steal plans for a battery? Well, maybe they wanted to build an electric submarine. It sounds to me like they took the battery plants by mistake. I wonder where that supply van came from. It was covered with oil. Maybe it was stolen from where the Germans landed. You mean where the submarine dropped them? Possibly. And if we knew where that was, maybe that's where they're going to be picked up. I must say, I am surprised that this doesn't happen more often to Mr. Edison. Wherever there is true genius, there waits the unscrupulous opportunist waiting reap the fruits of ardent labor. I better get to these dishes. Uh, Edison has given us so much. Look around this house. 
The dictating machine. Yeah. Um, the, I, I, can, I can help you drive. The kinetoscope. Ah, uh, the mimeograph machine. <laughs> and finally, the incandescent light bulb. What? are in Bayonne, on the coast. So did you tell the police? Yes. And? Well, they wouldn't take me seriously. Well, Nancy, it is a bit thin. Well, we've got to go there. I know I'm right. Nancy, be logical. America isn't even in the war. And you want us both to go and take on a German submarine by yourselves? Why not? Because I have to go to work after class, that's why. But this is more important. Nancy, if you're right, we'll both be killed. And if you're wrong, I'll lose my job and we won't have a car for the prom. <laughs> Uh, Indy, listen, high tide today is at 5 p.m. If you're not going with me, I'm going alone. one of us gets murdered, the other one can take photos. Well, we need proof. Here, I'll take the camera, you take the field glasses. Mr. Harper's probably planning how he's gonna fire me. Don't you have any sense of priority, Indiana Jones? If those plans get into German hands, thousands of people could die. Coming? I'm coming. This is it. Now, all we do is wait. Plan on coming at high tide. They missed it. Look! Look! The snake's alive, Nancy. They've got guns! I knew I was right. Let me take a picture. What? Get down! What? Do you think they saw us? Look, you go get the Coast Guard. I'll stay here. No, you go. I'm not leaving you here alone. Get out of here. Both of you go home. We can all go home. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, what if he's lying? Get it, Nancy. Why should he lie? You were wrong. I'll miss another day of work and I'll probably lose my job.
Keep it down, Junior. Let's Father, may I be excused? Nancy, we've got to get back to that refinery. Indy, it's late. My parents will never let me out. But I've solved it. They weren't after the submarine plants. They weren't even Germans. It's the oil company. Well, how can you be so sure? They're after the electric car battery plants. If that succeeds, the oil company will be out of business. Yeah. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. So are you going to be there? Just... Nancy? Y yeah, um, all, all right, Indy. Look, I'll help you with your homework. But this is the last time. Just give me ten minutes. That's why they kidnapped Dr. Thompson, so everyone would believe it was the Germans. I knew there was something fishy about that. But how are we going to prove it? There's only one thing to do. Sneak in there and get those plans back. find out. Could work. Edison's light bulb has all but destroyed the gaslight companies. We don't want that happening to us. Yes, sir. Just make sure this battery never sees the light of day. Just don't mess this up. 
Don't worry. Everything's going as planned. Don't Get out. You go on. He better check his out. Figuring out the oil company angle. Well, that German act had us fooled, too. For a while. You never know. Edison might spring for a reward. He'd be mighty glad to get his plans back. Oh, we don't care about a reward. No, but we would like to bring the plans back to Dr. Thompson. Yeah, he helped us with our generator. Sure, why not? Once we have these grids in place... John... Then... You've got the nickel and the iron grids reversed. Of course. I'm just a little tired. Dr. Thompson, we did it. Did what? But we found the battery plant. How did you... They tried to fool you with that German spy routine, and I have to admit, it almost worked. I hope they're all there, sir. <laughs> yes, everything. It's, it's incredible. Well done. I remember what my father said to you the other night at dinner about how something like this could put the oil companies out of business. So I took a good guess as to where they might be, and I was right. You mean you, you stole them back from the refinery? That's right, sir. How did you know where to go? There was crude oil on the van. Nancy worked that out, but she thought it was connected to something else. I better put these in the safe. How did he know about the refinery? What? We didn't tell him we were at the refinery. It was him. Look at his shoes. Dr. Thompson? It was him all along. The, the, the German spies, everything. Why? Why what? Why did you steal your own plans? You were at the refinery last night, weren't you? I think you better give us those plans back, sir. Incredible little brats. You're not going anywhere, John. Don't move. Back off.
Foster. Well, well can't you do something? I Nancy, mean... this is a Model T. Hold on. Indy, come on. What are you doing? We don't have time for shortcuts. Just hold on. Indy, what are you, crazy? We're not going to make it. Let go of the wheel. Let's look, look out. Questions to answer, mister. Put the cuffs on. Why didn't you do it, Dr. Thompson? Why do you think? You did it for the money? I wanted what was mine. I was doing all the work and Edison was getting rich. My name should have been on those patents. Mine! Get him out of here. Good work, kids. You two ought to hitch up. You do detective work like professionals. One day, my new battery will make the electric car a truly viable alternative, and the whole world will thank you. Oh, I hope so, Mr. Edison. And you must come and test drive my new electric car when it's finished. I'd like that very much, sir. <laughs> I believe this is yours. Well, I guess you didn't get a chance to fix it. I'm afraid not. Sorry. Looks like we're walking to the prom. No, it's OK. I Whoa! Rosie, you look beautiful. Hey, you seen that soda jar? Or is he just too ashamed to show his face? I can't wait for you to get down here. I have just made a significant discovery. You will go crazy when you see it. See you soon, your cousin Frank. Indy, Indy. Have you decided about spring break yet? I talked to my dad and he said you can come with us. I have to go to Albuquerque with my father to visit my aunt. We leave tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why didn't you tell me? I knew you'd be upset. Well, I guess I'll see you after spring break then. Yeah, it'll only be for a couple of weeks. Okay. Junior. Are you
Are you packed yet? We're leaving at 6 a.m. Yes, sir. I'm just about done. Mm. I'll see you in the morning. Uh, don't stay up too late. I won't. Dear Ned, thanks for your letter. It's great to hear you've been posted in Cairo. It reminds me of when we were in Egypt together exploring the tomb of Ka. It was the most exciting time I ever had. Anyway, I bet you're having a great time in the army, even if, as you say, all you do is draw maps. Knowing you, you'll soon find where the fighting is, and then you'll be right in the middle of things. I envy you and hope you'll see a lot of action, just as you always wanted. It's terrible being stuck here finishing high school, especially when there's so much going on in the world. Your friend, Andy. Tell you later. Come on. This is your great discovery? It's a bordello. It's just across the border from Columbus. We can be there and back this weekend. They'll never let us go. They will if we're smart. Look, I got it all figured out. Here's what we do. Tomorrow at breakfast, just let me. Yeah, it all looks real good. What did you boys plan to do today? Hmm. Not much. Maybe just go swimming. Good idea. Ma, we were thinking, Andy and me, of maybe going on a little camping trip this weekend. Camping trip? What sort of camping trip? Well, nothing special. As far as Red Butte, maybe? Red Butte's a fair distance. We'll only be away a couple of days. And, and we'll be sure and be careful. Yes, ma'am, really careful. We'll be back Sunday night, so... I don't know. Don't see how they can come to any harm, Grace. What do you say, Professor? Well, as long as you're back Sunday night. Then we can go? I don't see why not. Kurato wale, Ashmi, Philly. Head to wale, but there. You ready? Yeah. Have a good time, boys. Don't get into any mischief. We won't. Bye. And remember, Junior, back by Sunday. Yes, sir. Promise. You're speaking with your father. Latin. Latin? My father says it's good practice, but it's actually the only way he can communicate with me since my mother passed away. I guess you really miss her a whole lot. Yeah, more than ever. Even after three years, a part of me just doesn't believe it. She held us together. She made it work. And when the influenza struck, she just didn't have any strength left to fight it. She'd given it all to us. Hey, you want to stop for a while? Have a break, maybe? A break? No, we just started. You know something? Hmm. This place reminds me a lot of Egypt. 
When I was a kid, I was on an archaeological expedition. Sounds pretty boring. No, no, not at all. Someday I'm going to be an archaeologist. Digging up old rocks? No, we're digging up old rocks. Find an ancient civilization there. Amazing treasures and artifacts. Really? Yeah, you won't believe it. Look here in my diary. Here's a drawing of the jackal we found in the tomb of Ka. That's the jackal's head. It's made of solid gold with precious stones for the eyes. Who's that? This is Demetrius. He killed a friend of mine and he stole the jackal. Ah, that's my friend Ned Lawrence. That's interesting. Yeah, it sure was. Let's go. Shut eye. We gotta get up before sun up. Yeah, and I think we should hide our backpacks here. We can pick them up on the way back home. Good night, Andy. Good night, Frank. Boy, that ground is hard. We only slept for an hour. We're not that far from Columbus. If we're lucky, we can be there before breakfast. Car. Yeah, yeah. doing around here looking lost, huh? Sir? Your mom is gonna heat your fannies for sure. Is there, uh, someplace we can get something to eat? Well, there's the Busy Bee Coffee Shop. Usually opens up around 6. What time's the border open? Well, you boys looking for a little action, huh? We sure are. Know any good hot spots, sir? Hot spots? Well, I say, there's the Copa Caliente, there's the Cuero de Oro, Maxi's. You know, I think you boys better stay away from old Maxi. Why? They serve their chilies real hot. <laughs> Thanks, soldier. You boys steer clear of old Maxi's, you hear? He's liable to give you any... <laughs>
Muchachos, los caballos, montense. What was that all about? Charge me, Spanish. She's terrible, huh? Your French is worse. She said General Pershing is coming after us. I will get the horses. Amarralo y tráetelo. Si se mueve, fusílalo. Well, I I regret deeply. What are you doing? If you have some last request. You out of your mind? I know. I'm carrying out the general's orders. He didn't say to kill me. Tie the kid up and shoot him. If, if, if he makes a move, shoot him, is what he said. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Did, did, did. Je suis désolé, my friend. I'm sorry, but c'est la guerre. What the hell is he doing, eh? Did you hear the general? Put him on the wagon and bring him with us. The minute I saw you, I knew you were like a kid.
Tarsin. Son varios miles por lo menos. General Pershing, sir. Via's columns are 40 miles to the south. Yes, is he'll circle east, head for the mountains. One thing's for sure. He'll stay clear of Ciudad Guerrero. President Carranza's got a whole army there. I'm gonna teach Via what it means to invade the United States. I'm gonna whip his ass. Dinamita. Y eso, la mitad por la munición. ¿Cuándo podemos recogerla? Por la mañana, mande a unos hombres a mi casa. Ah. Y también necesito rifles y pistolas. Eso le va a costar, General Vía. Yo creo que como unos 10 mil. Mil por adelantado. Y el resto te lo pago cuando tú me entregues a mí lo que te he pedido. ¿Que algo te molesta, Claw? Usted no tiene esa cantidad de dinero, mi general. ¿Cómo sé que va a poder pagar? Porque te doy mi palabra. Tendrá las armas en tres semanas. En dos semanas. Es un placer hacer negocios con usted, mi general. Por la mañana. ¿Dónde vamos a encontrar tan grande cantidad de dinero? En Ciudad Guerrero. ¿Ciudad Guerrero? Los federales han mandado un pago. 50 mil pesos en puro oro. Pero, mi general, Ciudad Guerrero es una fortaleza con muros anchos y muchos soldados. Nada puede entrar ahí. Si sí entra el tren. ¿Qué? Que si sí entra el tren, te digo. Vamos a poner un vagón lleno de explosivos al frente. Luego lo vamos a desviar a esta lateral. Y de ahí hasta la pared. Por ahí no nos esperan. Nos tomaremos de sorpresa. <risa> Quieren explotar. Háganlo en otra parte. Imsi, Imsi. Imsi, ¿qué es eso? Imsi es una palabra árabe. Quiere decir rápido. ¿Ha estado en Egipto? I was a sailor, but I hated to sea. One day we tied up at Veracruz, I jumped ship. Then I met Lupin. 
She was very beautiful. I adored her. We had a little cantina. We were very happy. But the Federalists came. They destroyed our cantina. And then they killed my Lupe. And voila, I joined the revolution. For revenge? For that and for all the reasons. What are you fighting for? Your children starve. When we get sick, we have nowhere to go. El Presidente Carranza and his rich friends have taken everything from us. We are slaves in our own land. They've sold off half of our country to you gringos. ¿Qué otra cosa podemos hacer más que pelear? Pelear por justicia. Esta es nuestra revolución. Ven esto. Por eso estamos luchando. Para el derecho del hombre que sea dueño de un poquito. Para que pueda sembrar, cosechar, le dé de comer a sus hijos. Esta es nuestra revolución. Un miserable puño de tierra. Vete a tu casa, muchacho. Aquí no te necesitamos. Vete a tu país, gordo y rico. Vive tu vida, gorda y rica. Vete a tu casa, muchacho. ¿Me oyes? Vete a tu casa. Te dejo libre. Yo no voy. Yo no voy. No me quiero ir. Quiero unirme a ustedes. Quiero luchar por la revolución. Ah, qué muchacho chihuahua, hombre. <ríe> Oye, Burciaga. Dale un trabajo a este muchacho. Sí. Your first job tomorrow will be to pick up the weapons at Close House. Vámonos, gringo. Rashid. I found him at last. How it all started was I planned a visit to the border, the sole object of which was to enlarge my education. I feel confident he would have approved. However, as Ravi Burns so aptly said, and as you so often quote him, the best laid schemes are mice and men. How about, dear dad, I've joined the Mexican Revolution. Sorry about high school. Take care of Indiana for me, your son, Henry. <laughs> much better. <laughs> How much longer do we have to sit here? Till we get news of the train. I hate trains. What's so important about this one? We're gonna take this one, because it's the key to Ciudad Guerrero. 
Are you crazy? That place is full of federales. We get our asses shot off. <laughs> States of America and death to all our enemies. Including that low down greaser, Pancho Villa. Lieutenant Patton reporting, sir. Looks like you ran into a little trouble on your scouting mission, Lieutenant. Nothing I couldn't handle. Better watch out for young George Patton, gentlemen. I'd say he's going places fast. I got these guys at a cantina near the railroad. I'm not so sure if he is headed for the mountains. Good thinking, Lieutenant. I agree. In fact, I hear he's headed for Ciudad Guerrero. Don't worry. Ciudad Guerrero is my hometown. I grew up there. <laughs> Look. There's a spur line. Runs right up to the wall. I will switch the tracks, and you go crashing right into it. Cuando derrimemos nosotros el muro, la ciudad será nuestra. Sí, mi general. Eh, ahora muchachos, rápido. Órale, vámonos. Lindy. You gonna use that? Did you ever kill a man, Indy? Indy. Nos vemos a Ciudad Guerrero. There is only one rule, Indiana. Stay alive.
volveré. Te prometo que volveré. Easy, my friend. Hold tight. You'll be okay. All these barbaros del norte. Wilder Wilson is peor que Carranza. Carranza le está dando a México a él. Vamos a ver sus pinches gringos donde más les duela. Mañana atacamos la hacienda de William Randall Hearst. Por mi general, tendremos una guerra en los Estados Unidos. Precisamente es lo que queremos. Para que atrapen la carranza en el medio.
I'm a gringo. Si muero en batalla, mi último recuerdo será de ti. Adiós. Adiós, mi amor. Vaya con Dios, mi amor. Vaya con Dios. Fin. Hey, tú, pon la próxima rápido. Sí, 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 sí. sí. Mm. Okay, noticias internacionales. Marzo. 1216 Dos años de tremendo conflicto, las naciones de Europa todavía en las hadas en batalla a muerte. En Francia, la armada alemana destroza el Verdun. Tropas de Estados Unidos visitan de cortesía a Canadá. El general dice porque Pancho Villa es un gran hombre. Hace muchos años cabalgué con Juárez en contra del emperador Maximiliano. En esa época perdí muchas gallinas, pero yo creí que valía la pena ser libre. Cuando don Porfirio subió a presidente, lo apoyé, pero se llevó las gallinas. Vino Huerta y se llevó las gallinas. Le tocó el turno a Carranza y también se llevó las gallinas. Ahora viene Pancho Villa a liberarme y lo primero que hizo fue robarme las gallinas. Pero un hijercito necesita comida. ¿Quiere ayudarme? ¿Ayudarme? 
ayudaré. También va a ayudarme Garranza y todos los demás. ¿Qué diferencia hay entre uno y otro? Mis gallinas no lo saben. En el mundo entero, las revoluciones vienen y van. Los presidentes suben y caen. Todos roban tus gallinas. Lo único que cambia es el nombre de quien se llevó la gallina. Goodbye. I'm going home. After seeing that newsreel, how can I stay? This is not my war. If I have to die, I'll die in my own country, defending my own home. Well, let me come with you. Come with me to a fool. No, I'm not. I'm not crazy. I... I guess I'm just seeing things clearly for the first time. This isn't my war either. Maybe the one in Europe is. That's a war that has to be fought. Above all, it has to be won. The alternative is... It's unthinkable. I leave at first light. Be ready to ride. Tomorrow? There's one thing I have to do first. If you are not there by dawn, I go without you. I'll be there. Trust me. Jackal, man. Remember me? I'm a friend of Rashid. Man, you killed in Egypt. <laughs> 